Hello, how are you all doing? It's been a while, but we're finally finished. Number 211, Frederick. Great name for a boat. Yeah, I was really pleased when the customer came up with this name. Um, love it. A bit like Reginald. So yeah, this one is a behemoth. 68 feet long. Um, which if any of you know is nearly full length. Only a couple of feet short. Another hybrid from Hybrid Marine. Lovely paint job as well. This is uh, I've been trying to do this video all day, but it's been raining and not very nice. So the colour on the outer is actually a, a dark blue, which shines a nice purpley colour uh, when the sun shines on it, which we haven't got. Oh, there's a bit of blue up there. That weren't there a minute ago. As you can see, it's been chucking it down. We just had another shower. So that's why the cushions are not on. Um, yeah, I gave up trying to get the cushions on. They are waterproof, but I don't want to put wet cushions back in the boat. Yep, so there's the uh, hybrid control tool off at the minute. This has got the torno cover that goes on the back, um, but we've had it off, obviously, to give it a final clean. You wouldn't know, because it's all covered in leaves again now. And it's also got a storage cover on the front, um, so when you're not using the boat, it just keeps the weather off. And the leaves out of your uh, w uh, well deck. Yeah, so lovely colours. Nice traddy looking boat again. And it's got the Harlequins on it for the cabin brake. It's also got the Harlequins down the centre. Got the traditional heart on the back. That's all painted by our wonderful Johnny Hardman. nice and shiny and the sign writing is of course done by Mr Andy Russell yes yeah, so we've got we've actually got 10 of these uh, panels on this one because it's such a long boat we could fit 10 on and they're the 170s they're the new slim lines so we've got 1.7 kilowatts of electric off the roof um, they actually put a bit more than that in when the sun's out. Yeah, and it's got some great features inside. You wouldn't believe some of the things inside this boat. So we'll, uh, we'll pop in and have a look. Harlequins on the front as well, which look lovely. Yeah, big boat. It's a lot of boat. A usual storage in the front storage locker there. Bow thrusters underneath the storage in there. So all nice and neat. So yeah, let's pop inside before it starts raining again. Take my boots off again. Put my boots in, I don't want them getting soaking wet. And shut the doors. Yeah, it's been miserable today. Tomorrow's supposed to be a better day, hopefully, which will be nice for the owners. Yeah, so as we come in, we've got a nice little corner unit there, a drinks cabinet at the top. There's no glasses or anything in it. I think the customer's bringing the, these glasses and, and whatnot tomorrow. A uh, little corner unit there. Uh, gone for the upgraded rads again, which tie into the granite, which you'll see in a bit. And it's got the ash T and G under the gunnels all through the boat. Under gunnel lighting is a warm white. No colours on this one. And they've all got their individual controllers. Or you can use the remote, and that controls all of them. And there's remotes in three of the rooms. And these little tub chairs are fantastic. Beautiful leather. So yeah, you can, in an evening, come in here, sit down. I think they're having two poofs uh, made up um, to store in that corner. So you could have your feet upon the poofs. It's a lovely little area, nice and cosy. Yeah. 
and the heating's been on today and it's nice and warm in here. TV is on a bracket so you can move it around if you need to, but it's in a good position as it is. So they've gone for the white painted uh, cabin sides with the oak frames, which is still pretty much our most popular popular uh, line out. And they've just stayed with the ash ceiling, which looks lovely. Nice grain on there. And all oak trims. Our usual standard. And then with this one, we've actually got a split dinette. Which is quite cool. So you can still obviously sit for for dining. Um, and neither of you have got to get out. If someone wants to get out and go to the loo or whatever. No one's got to move. You can just get out on your own. Without disturbing anyone. The tables do drop down. Um, and then the cushions all go together to make two singles. So that's... Uh, that's one plus two. There is another plus two coming up. So it'll sleep six, this boat. And then there's the lovely side doors, either side, with the lift outs in. You've all seen our lift outs, I'm sure. Double glaze units, and obviously the doors open. That's it. Yeah, and the material they've got for, that they've chosen for the uh, cushions and everything, it's lovely. All the way from America. Yeah, and it uh, ties in with the granite as well, which is nice. The storage underneath. So we've got the covers in there for the front and back. Uh, it's just empty at the minute. Then we've got drawers underneath the, the um, foot area. And then just to get a bit more storage on the galley side, we've made these pull-outs accessible from the galley. So you can put your food, whatever, tins, whatever you fancy. Oh, soft clothes, obviously. In there. So that's quite a lot of storage in them two pull-outs. Yeah, quite a lot of gadgets in this uh, galley, as you're going to see. Dual zone, we'll start with a dual zone wine cooler. I forget how many bottles that holds now. I think the customer said it was 28. It might be more than that. So yeah, 28 bottles of wine. That'll keep you going for a week. Then you can restock. Uh, then next to that, we've got... The Bosch dishwasher, uh, that's the 10 place one that shines the info on the floor, which is great. It's also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I've got no idea. As is the <laughs> Bluetooth and Wi-Fi full size fridge. These are all Bosch units as well. And a full size freezer. Again, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Someone will probably tell me why you need that in the comments. Um, I've always managed to keep things cold without Wi-Fi in the past, but maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, there's the full-size washer dryer. So that's 8 kilo wash, 6 kilo dry. And then cooking wise, we've got the new Siemens dual zone. Exactly the same features. It's actually the same unit as the NEF, which they discontinued. Same factory, I believe. Um, if you turn them over, they're identical. Yep. So lovely. Nice little two zone. And then the, next to the dishwasher, we've just got the uh, under sink cupboard. Put all your cleaning stuff in and then your drawer pack next to that. Um, pots and pans, cups, plates, whatever. And the granite is absolutely gorgeous, this one. It's a real nice dark bluey grey. All natural. So stainless, uh, standard stainless sink. And the tap, I went for the... Uh, Graphite one because it, it goes with the um, the dark bits in the granite 
I thought it looked quite nice and it does it's uh, yeah goes really well and as you can see the cushions there's colors in the cushions that go with the, the granite yes yeah, beautiful granite this lovely nice little splash back behind the hob so then next and last down here is the magic corner cupboard so again you can get lots of things in there pots pans whatever and then our well-known pullouts so the space with the actual um, storage we've got you just have to make as much use of every space especially on a boat especially on a narrow boat see that goes all the way back there could make that a pull out but then if you're prepping anything just here it's obviously going to get pushed onto that now the oven the top one instead of just a microwave it's actually the uh, microwave oven combi um, and grill so you can actually grill oven cook and microwave in that and then underneath is the full size nef slide and hide and again everything's in the graphite handles in the graphite and the, it just ties it all in with the, the granite and we tap and then there's some more overhead cupboards there so actually a lot of storage in this galley considering all the appliances that it's got in here uh, they went for the upgrade on the rads as everyone does uh, and the floor is a usual ship deck candine with a coffee strip which looks great goes with everything yeah so nice it's a nice layout a bit different yeah under gunnels everywhere in every zone so this walking through now into bathroom number two. That's correct. You heard me right. This is bathroom number two. So it's got the uh, corner unit, same granite as in the galley. Um, and it's got the sit on top basin. It's not a sink. It's a basin in a bathroom. And the person that's watching this will know what I'm on about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that's the sit on top one with the corner unit. Um, I think there's toothpaste char uh, toothbrush chargers in there. Macerating toilet, so press and forget as I like to call it. Now the holding tank for that one, if you were you wondering what was behind that door, it's actually not a door, it may look like one. Um, there's a stainless, fully sealed stainless tank underneath there. Um, that's the holding tank for bathroom number two but this is only an occasional toilet let me just shut that door yeah so it's a full-size bathroom as, as normal and it's got the lovely color cata marble effect shower board Lovely mix of tap, that stain is uh, shower pump inside the uh, the switch inside the shower so you don't have to get out. It's more of our usual pull outs, pull out airing cupboard, and then underneath this one is just our standard setup, which is more of a service cupboard. You got your uh, shower pump there, hot water tank chlorifier whatever you want to call it and then both bathrooms have gone for the extra radiator so that gives you more heat in the room and as your towel rail to keep your towels dry yeah it's really nice now this next room was called the snug let me just shut this door The reason this is take two is because I uh, I was pressing the wrong button on the uh, projector. That's right. 
So it was originally going to be a snug. So that is a full size. Well, it's a six foot six um, sofa. It's got the shorter arms on it, the thinner arms from Sofa Bed Barn. So that's uh, another occasional double. So with the two in the dinette and the two in here, that's okay. That's four you can sleep. Um, so it's got plenty of overheads up here. Downlighters if you want to come in here and just read. I'll have a cup of coffee, whatever. Um, but then instead of the, another TV going there, this room is now called the cinema room. Uh, it's the first boat we've actually done a, a cinema room on. So that is the pull down screen. And then we open that. And we've got the overhead projector there. We we'll just shut this door. Clunk. Where's my remote? There we are. So you can come in here. Movie night. And the picture on that is actually really good. Yeah, great quality. And obviously a huge screen. So with a couple of you in here, some popcorn, your favourite movie on, it's going to be wonderful. Yeah, fantastic. Cinema room, there we go. Never done one of them before on a boat. But it works really well. I'd probably spend hours in here. Right, let's turn that off. Back. Pop that up. Right, now we go through into. We'll put some lights back on in there. There we go. Bathroom number one. So right, we're nearly there. We're getting there. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it's got the T and G um, all throughout the boat. I'm sure I did. So again, another towel rail in here. Another basin. Um, another macerating toilet, all our toilet stuffs from uh, Lisan. Michael from Lisan looks after as well there. And again, another radiator. And if I just shut this door a second. So this, exactly the same shower. They're just mirror images of each other. So you get the idea. But the pullouts on this one, because there's no chlorifier in here, hot water tank, because it's in behind the other one. We've got a short, um, there we pull out air and cupboard there. But then he wanted a, uh, a pull out cupboard for his shirts and bits and bobs to hang. So I've actually got hanging rails at the top there. So I've got one there and one there. So you can hang your hangers on that front to back. Um, yeah. So, a nice little pull out hanging cupboard. It's all soft clothes. Full size mirrors in both bathrooms. They make the bathrooms look huge. And that was the door. And then we're into the main bedroom. So, one of our usual pull outs uh, on the gas struts. Um, these are the covers for outside, which I wasn't going to put on because every time I took them out, it rained again. So they're the, they're the cushions. This one's actually got the 12-inch uh, filler that drops in. So when you pull the, when you pull the bed out, slide the mattress across, and that plops straight in, and then you've got a big five-foot double or king size, whatever. It's. And then we've got the uh, nice padded headboard. From Simon and Becky at Simon Frith's. It does all our upholstery. There's all the bungs, all the uh, window bungs, and the uh, dinette cushions and whatnot. So we've got the reading lights there, and then we've got overheads. Um, 
with loads of storage in. These are one of those little gas struts as well. Yeah. Again, undergone the lighting. And then we are near the back. So these steps, these all lift up. They've got their own storage in. So it's all about making use of every little nook and cranny. And because this boat's a hybrid, batteries, as you know, all the way in the air, from one side of the boat to the other, over a ton of batteries. And there's your little storage locker for your pins, mallets, whatever. And then this is our usual wardrobe setup, but a slim version of it. And then at the bottom is hanging. Yep, hanging rail there. So again, plenty of room there. Loads of storage under the bed, as you've probably seen in the... Uh, I won't lift it up, it's got all the things on it, but dead easy to lift. Lots of storage under there. And then coming to the back of the boat, just push those doors open. We've got our electrics cupboard which is all lovely and neat marvellous John no, marvellous John marvellous job by Jonathan there's the uh, emotion controls and PPT that's all the 240 volt stuff and the 12 volt and that's the big Victron 48 volt 5k inverter charger so everything's nice and neat in there. Does a grand job, does Jonathan. And then that's a big colour display with all the tanks and gauges. What the boat's doing. So all nice, neat and simple. There's our new name, uh, name plates as well. Frederick. Yeah, so all in all... A great big boat with some lovely features on. Let's slide the hatch back. The sun's out, crikey. Yeah, so there we are. Whole lot of boat. Whole lot of features. Oh well, I hope the customers are going to be happy with them. They're coming tomorrow. Here at 9.30. So if you're watching the video, that means they're happy with it. Anyway. That's enough for my waffle for one day. Um, shouldn't be too long uh, for the next video. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.